Patty, what is up guys? I'm a little bit sad because I just spent 40 minutes beating a really hard level just for them to intentionally freeze your screen right before you hit the finish line. So 40 minutes down the drain, I might still upload the video just as like a, I hate this guy <laughs> who made the video, uh, who made the level and I, I finished it. I literally finished it, it just froze. So I might still upload it. Let me know if you wanna see it. But instead, I'm just gonna show you uh, a little bit of a, a rant world record run I went on. Uh, and kind of destroyed Poodle Maniac a little bit. So I'll show you quite a few. Starting off, we have a pretty cool level. This is probably my favorite one here today. Started off with a banger called Happy Halloween by uh, Babizi. I don't know. But Poodle had a 114, and I cut off of 10 seconds, you know, casual. The reason this level is pretty cool is because it starts out super slow and easy, and it gets really hard by the end. Um, so what you want to do is just grab the rope as quick as possible. I went with a down arrow, then right arrow, and then jump in as low as you can, and try and end up on your stomach as far right as possible, which I do a little bit of a, a dry wiggle to get. And then you wanna throw yourself as far left as possible here, and then fall into this box. Uh, this box takes a little bit to despawn the floor, and you're gonna fall down. So you have a little second to rearrange yourself. You wanna get your hands on the far right uh, to avoid hitting your feet when this rope under you starts swinging. I don't pull my legs up fast enough, so I only get two instead of the three that I wanted to get past. But this right here makes up for it. Really big swing, so I'm on pretty good pace here. A little bit clumsy on these, but again, I was on a really good pace, so not too mad. And again, the ending is the hard part. You're just trying to get to the end in pretty decent pace. And I managed to make up for it with some pretty good throws here. And uh, moving in with a really good base. Now this is the beginning of the hard part. You have to get your feet in first or you lose the level. So the secret is to go super, super far into this crevice before letting go so you can get your legs all the way around and in. And then this wall disappears and you have to grab this disc and uh, Ninja Warrior style your way across. So I managed to find a really cool way to do it. Um, and this is where I took most of my time off of Poodle. So with this up arrow ad that I found just lets you stall for longer in the air and throw yourself further forward, which Poodle did not manage to find. It was more of a dragging for them. Uh, and even with this small mistake here where I could have finished maybe a second faster, I still managed to get a very solid victory. So that was my favorite level we're doing, but we have a few more that I beat Poodle on and some cool levels in general. Next one is this level. I don't really like it. It's low effort, high self-promotion but I'll go ahead and show you. I beat Poodle by 0.2 just by uh, avoiding running into the Segway. So you're trying to fit into this hole and uh, not have the Segway hit you. So if you notice, right before I eject, I tap the up arrow, which makes the Segway roll forward a little bit instead of backwards. And uh, it lets me fall down 0.2 seconds faster than Poodle did. Next up, another one I stole from Poodle is Pogo Challenge Neon. This one was with just a little bit of a strat out maneuver, another 0.2 seconds. I'll watch Poodles first this time, really clean entry, but kind of just wiggles around randomly here uh, before they finish. Try to make sure they land on the hole. Instead of doing that, I uh, managed to do this really cool backflip, which gives you a nice amount of speed for the dismount. And uh, 0.2 seconds faster. Next up, we got a helicopter level. This was not one that I stole from Poodle, but it's just kind of cool. I like the helicopter stuff. Um, and if everyone else just drove to the end, but uh, I decided to do a little bit of leaning back and pressing of the Z button and landed directly on the finish line. All right. Next up is a pretty cool skip that I didn't find, but I thought it was cool enough to show y'all. Uh, it's this one. So this guy found the skip but I was the one who managed to do it a little bit faster, but shout out to that guy for finding the skip. I'm gonna show you how the level's supposed to go. You are supposed to try and escape this box because GSP things and uh, finding invisible blocks is supposed to be difficult. It's here and then you wanna push off and go as far right as possible to try and fit there. As you can see, very uh, high skill gap level. It's very much uh, what you wanna see when you're looking for high skill levels, squeezing through very small gaps. Then you fall on some children, you're supposed to jump over here 
and then this booster takes you all the way back to up to the start to the top. Uh, however, this guy who found the skip noticed you can just jump off the right, the left wall, and there's nothing stopping you from skipping straight to the finish. Uh, so I just managed to do it a little bit cleaner than him. By right here, you gotta hook the edge to slow yourself down and then get a jump off the wall. That's so loud. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, and then last one, I'm gonna show you this custom, um, custom vehicle cha uh, challenge, which is pretty cool because I'll just show you in the actual level. Uh, you press the space bar and you press the space bar to fly and you just fly to the end. Pretty cool. Uh, but I noticed that your hands start somewhat in the middle and it's actually faster rather than just letting your hands fall down to hold the left arrow and grab the top, which managed to save 0.1 or one frame and then two frames off the previous world record. And you notice I hold left at the start and I'm grabbing the top of it which is just barely faster. And uh, that's a few pretty cool levels I managed to get world record on. Uh, sorry I can't get out like a super high quality hard to beat level, but that freaking dude made the thing with the end, but don't worry, I will get good stuff out. I just want to show you some pretty cool world record skips, strategies, and uh, crushing poodle in a few levels. So thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, join me again tomorrow for some more Happy Wheels enjoyment. Later, y'all.